In this video, we will create Python CLI with nested and pluggable subcommands using click module. For example, commands like clone, commit, push can be loaded from a plugin folder dynamically with their own set of arguments and help pages. To get started, let's create a project directory. We'll name it PyCLI, that's click. Then we'll create a virtual environment, activate it. I'm using Python 3.6.7. Next, we'll install click module with command pip install click. Once click is installed, let's go ahead and switch to a IDE. I'm using PyCharm for this example. First, let's create a package inside our project. We'll name the package the same as our project. Then we'll create a main.py file. Then go to click documentation and look for custom multi commands. This helps to lazy load commands from a directory. Go ahead and copy the snippet. Here, first the location for commands are defined and we have a custom class for click multi command which overrides list command to list commands from the directory and get command to load the commands. Now paste the snippet. We don't need to change anything at this time. Uh, let's go ahead and create a commands directory. Then let's create new files for the commands. We will call the first one clone.py and next we'll create push.py. For this commands to work we need to declare a CLI method and this will be uh, annotated by click dot command for now we'll just print some message we'll also do the same for clone dot py now save it go to your main dot py file and run it you should see the command line already working with commands clone and push listed there but you must notice we don't have a description yet. So to add a description, add comments in a doc string. This zone here. Once you save it and then rerun it, the commands should have short description shown as well. To see the help message for the subcommand, run command with dash dash help. Let's execute the push command. It should print the text output. For the clone command, uh, we need source and destination arguments. To pass arguments from CLI, we need to add click dot argument annotations for source and destination. Now when we run clone command, we get error for missing argument. For more detail, you can run dash dash help where the required arguments for the command will be shown. To test it, let's add these variables to the print statement. Now run the command with arguments and there we go. Next, let's look at options. Add a new file for commit command and uh, declare the CLI function as before. Let's say to commit we need message and author. To add options, uh, click dot option annotation must be added. Let's add both short and long form of the option, make it required and provide a help message about the option. Let's do the same for author. Also, let's add these options to print statement for validation. This time, when we run commit, it will show error for missing option. For details about the required arguments and options, run dash dash help. We have nicely formatted help with help message for each options displayed as well as marked as required. The difference between named argument and option is that arguments are positional whereas options can be provided in any order. 
to test the command pass required option and run it and it works so far we have three different commands and let's say all commands requires information about the repository we do not want to duplicate that information in each command so let's look at how to pass that as a context to subcommands from the main file let's create a repo class which has home and debug attributes we would like to pass this object to all the subcommands for that we need to define a click group with CLS pointed to the my CLI class we can also add help message similar to before comment out the CLI defined before instead add a CLI function under the group annotation to be able to pass the object to subcommands we need to add click pass context annotation which makes context available to the CLI group we can then define context.object to be the repo instance we do need to pass home and debug to instantiate a repo object let's take home and debug values as options now in any of the subcommands to receive the context we need to pass add object annotation which makes object available within the CLI function we can now use debug attribute from the past object to print a debug message since debug does not expect any value but it is either true or false we can change it to a flag instead to change it to a flag we define each flag equals to true now to test it let's run main.py with dash dash debug flag and call the commit command with required options for the commit as expected it prints the debug message it confirms that value was passed from group in main.py to the commit command similarly we can pass that object to any other subcommands let's add it in the clone command then run it it prints the debug message we now have a robust CLI application but as you have noticed running it with command Python main.py does not look like a system command such as git or AWS CLI now let's look at how to run this application as a system command let's create a setup.py file with details such as name version list of packages and dependencies required to install this package then we define entry points where we add console scripts that's where the magic happens here we provide name of the system command and reference to the function to execute in our case this will be the CLI function in main.py now we can install our package using pip install dot oops we see an error turns out it does not like the dash in package name let's refactor and rename our package to pycli underscore click let's try to install it again this time it installed successfully let's run the system command pycli dash click hmm. now it says commands directory not found that is because we are missing init.py in commands directory so that directory was not packaged for installation let's add it and try again one thing we need to fix now is that the list command method is going to list all the files ending with .py which includes the init.py so let's add a statement so that we do not include the file starting with underscores in our commands which gives us a nice way to enable and disable commands as well let's install it and hope it works this time 
let's run our command pycli dash click and there we go our cli is available in the system and we can run it similar to git and aws commands that's it for this video we created a advanced cli application using click and installed it in our system using pip if you have any questions feel free to leave comments and do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.